I'm Chef Steven. I'm one of the chefs here at Holiday in Vieira. And today we're going to show you one of our banquet menu items. It's uh, Key West chicken and mango salsa. So we'll have a little fun. Got the grill nice and hot. What I like about this recipe and what it's why it would translate well to home is a lot of the same ingredients in the marinade and in the salsa. So I've already pre-marinated some chicken. It's got uh, cilantro, garlic, cumin, a little salt and pepper, kosher salt, black pepper, a little white wine. That's, that's been marinating ahead of time here. And I've prepared some ingredients ahead of time. We use, you know, especially when we have a large function, we use frozen mango. It's one of the, the fruits that, even frozen, it keeps its consistency. It's fibrous enough that the fresh, of course, is always better, but uh, it doesn't really, freezing it doesn't affect it like other uh, fruits. Got a little diced pineapple that we definitely use fresh. Roasted some red peppers ahead of time. Basically just, you can throw it right on your grill, get a nice char on them, put them in a bowl, cover them, skin comes right off, scrape it with the back of the knife. And that gives a nice color, nice different flavor combination. A little red onion. Some people don't really like red onion, I love it. I like it raw. Get a little bit of, a little extra to it. Then I have some uh, lemon zest and cilantro. This is flavor country right here. The zest of the lemon, you know, a lot of people know now that's where a lot of the flavors help. And the lime juice, I'm sorry, lime. A little bit of garlic. And then this is a nice uh, grilling blend that I like to use. It's just, it's basic. Kosher salt, pepper, and cumin. And that is obviously in the chicken marinade. And it's the main flavor for the salsa. Just kind of mix it up there. And it's a really nice color combination too. get the nice grill marks and flavor, but sometimes cooking it all in the way on the grill will dry out for sure. So just mark it on the grill in the oven for about six minutes. And then the important part is I, this is something that a lot of people I feel don't know, I didn't know until I started cooking, is to, you gotta let you gotta let it rest. You know, it's actually even better to pull it from the oven a little bit before you think it's done and then let the juices settle. That's how you avoid dry chicken. Slice that. Plate ready. I like to save the, um, the little pineapple fronds for garnish. So they look cool. Especially if you're doing a platter. They go a long way. Chicken right there. And I sauteed some plantains. This is in the... It's actually Goya makes a really good one. They're in the uh, freezer vegetable section. some nice color on them. And finish it off with the salsa. Ideally, you want to let the salsa marinate a little bit. Break down some of the, the fruit and the, the vegetables. And that's our finished product. Key West chicken with mango salsa and fried plantain. Thanks everyone. Nice easy recipe, even I can do it. See you next time.